Boston IVF was established in 1986 as one of the first outpatient surgery centers for infertility services. Now it's routine, but back then it was very unique to be outside of a hospital. We quickly found out that performing IVF in a hospital was much more challenging than doing it in a freestanding unit. So well, we were one of the first uh, in North America to do that. We've been fortunate along the way to have many firsts in uh, our field. Many firsts in New England for embryo freezing, egg donation, and many technology firsts. And we take a lot of pride in being cutting edge uh, to help our patients uh, achieve their dream. Uh, Boston IVF has been involved in pioneering work here for many years. One of the things that uh, we're very excited about is our ability now to pick out sperm based on their maturation. And we use uh, a technique called PIXI, which is pick ICSI, and what that means is we have a special dish which is coated, and that dish is coated with a special material called hyaluronin. And the sperm that are the best sperm actually attach themselves to that hyaluronin, and then those are the sperm that you use to inject the egg with. And so we're very excited about that technology, helping us get better results with our ICSI rates. We also have another very exciting technology called trophectoderm biopsy. This is a cutting edge new technology and typically when biopsies are done, they're done on day three and you remove one cell from the embryo. Um, one of the interesting things about trophectoderm biopsy is now you can remove more than one cell, which gives you a better result in terms of your testing, but it also allows you to remove actually less of the embryo because the embryo has grown a lot more and so even though you're removing more cells, five to ten cells, you're not removing a significant proportion of the embryo. And so what we're working on is getting this technology in tandem with being able to do the transfer the following day. And this is a very new technology. Typically when you use this trophectoderm biopsy technology, you have to freeze the embryos and then the patient has to come back for another cycle at another time. Now what we're working on is doing a trophectoderm biopsy and actually doing the transfer on the next day because we're able to get the results quickly enough. So we're very excited about that technology. We're very lucky that we have one of the finest uh, IVF sites and centers uh, in the world. We started with a clean piece of paper to design a state-of-the-art facility. And uh, as a result, we were able to get the best equipment. We laid everything out in a way that we thought was the best for our couples. So it's very user-friendly, very efficient, very high technology, but at the same time warm and compassionate. Acupuncture is a very Asian form. It's been practiced in China for over, at least uh, by record, uh, over 2,000 years. It still is very common practice in mainland China. And uh, in Boston IVF, since six years ago, we have this complementary center, including acupuncture and uh, certain yoga exercise and mind-body group exercise and the counselor. So including all of that, trying to um, come, trying to help a, p a patient mainly go through either IUI or IVF treatment. So acupuncture is one of the treatment and in certain way we could say certain time increases um, blood flow towards the abdominal area and also sometimes stabilize or regulate your hormone level and also very big uh, PR also for acupuncture treatment in this center is relaxation so sometimes I give them some support to go through the IVF treatment more comfortably. As a medical director and also as a physician here at Boston IVF I feel I'm the luckiest person in the world. I've been very fortunate to play a small role in helping couples build their families. I cannot think of a more exciting field than the field of infertility. It's a miracle how the whole process uh, occurs and every day we learn more and more about the science of it and more and more about how to help couples.